Hey, how's it going there everybody? It's Taylor here, and in this video I'm going to go over 5 target line commands you can use in Diablo 2, and uh, how to add target line commands, and uh, everything will also be in the uh, description there for you, so you can, uh, you know, look at stuff down there if you wanted, and, uh, you know, without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, so I'm just going to start by showing you how to add a target line command. So it's uh, really easy. You just go onto your uh, shortcut, um, you know, your uh, Diablo 2 icon on your desktop for a Lord of Destruction and uh, go on to Properties there. So you right click and go to Properties and uh, then you can see you have this uh, target line box here with a bunch of text in it. And um, I'll start out by showing you the... Uh, you know the most used uh, slash most popular target line command out there for Diablo 2 which is uh, to put it in windowed mode so you would just uh, put a little space and then dash W so it's really easy just space dash W and uh, then you just click OK and uh, click continue to run as administrator and then uh, you know open up your Diablo 2 and you can see you're in uh, window mode there so uh, it's pretty handy you know I always run windowed mode so um, you know you're gonna need to know how to just add those target lines like that for all these uh, target lines that I'm gonna show you the next target line command I'm gonna show you guys is uh, dash no save so um, it's pretty straightforward and almost doesn't even need an explanation but you know basically uh, it just doesn't save anything during your single player uh, gaming session so um, you know as long as this is in the target line uh, anything you do when you save an exit it won't be saved so um, you know it could have some utility if you wanted to experiment on a hardcore character or a character that you didn't want to lose experience on if you wanted to try some like risky builds or some experimental builds or anything like that um, you know it could have some use there but uh, let me know in the comments section uh, what commands do you guys use and uh, you know if you use this command uh, let me know I'd love to hear from you guys dash act one two five so um, you know for example if you put dash act four after you know the target line um, when you fire up d2 and create a new character in uh, single player that character will automatically be uh, level 27 in act four so um, it's pretty handy if you just want to check out a certain act or you know uh, whatever you want to do you know you can uh, get to any act just by doing that in the target line the next one's gonna be dash NS, which does no sound for your Diablo 2, so you're gonna turn off all your sound effects and any menu music or any background music that the game plays, so, um, you know, it's just a quick way to add no sound to your uh, Diablo 2 game if that's what you would like. Also, if you want to uh, disable your music when you're in the menu, you can uh, use Control plus M and that'll uh, disable or re-enable it. And then uh, if you want to disable your sound effects or uh, re-enable your sound effects, you can do uh, Control plus S and uh, that'll disable your sound effects in the menu. This next one will be pretty handy for any Battle.net players, so dash skip to Bnet will uh, take you straight to your login menu with your username and your password and skip everything before that. So, you know, it's pretty handy to get onto Battle.net a little quicker every time when you're uh, firing up Diablo 2. Alright, there it is guys, so that's five uh, target line commands you can use, and uh, I'll also have some more in the description there that you can check out. Um, you know, I'll have a list of them down there, so, you know, that's gonna be it. Um, please leave a like and subscribe for more uh, Diablo 2 content, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.